Hello friends, it's Luke the Gamer Duke, and today in Diablo 2 Resurrected, I'm back with another installment of Keep or Yeet, and this time it's Battle of the Balls. I'm pitting Bone Snap and Steel Driver against each other. Both weapons are at the top of their class in damage output for normal melee weapons. One swings much faster, while the other hosts a potentially dominating affix. Which of these will come out on top? And how far can these weapons realistically go? Well, let's go find out. First off, let's have a look at these things. Bone Snap Maul is the unique normal maul, with 200 to 300% enhanced damage. Mine got about halfway there. Plus another 100% damage to undead, 40% chance of crushing blow, which offers the chance of knocking one fourth of enemies' remaining health away and one eighth for bosses, and adds 30% to cold and fire resist. Minimal but powerful affixes. Steel Driver Great Maul is the unique normal Great Maul, which includes 150 to 250% enhanced damage. Finally, one of mine hit the higher end on that front. Plus another 50% damage to undead, 40% increased attack speed. Requirements are negative 50%, and heals your stamina by an additional 25%. A couple lacking affixes, but definitely a couple eye razors as well. For starting damage, Bone Snap is outputting 493 to 753, while Steel Driver claims 595 to 958. I removed any gear that would affect how either function, namely attack speed and undead damage, to compare the weapon output as best I could. I still have to stay alive and land strikes though, so I'm stacked with life, dex, and resistances. And since these weapons are at the tail end of normal mode items, we'll start them off where that picks up for a benchmark. Nightmare Catacombs. And no surprise here, both weapons absolutely smash their way through. Bone Snap is so goddamn slow though. And enemies were landing attacks during my swings, but it's outputting so much damage it really doesn't matter. Steel Driver's attack speed is ridiculous. Blasting off so much DPS with the Maul is actually quite hilarious and had me flying through here. Mercendariel, Bone Snap absolutely wrecked her initial health with minimal swings at the start due to crushing blow, but took several more swings at the end to finish her off. Steel Driver swung fast and true throughout, hacking chunks of health away at slightly a faster pace but both malls basically skipped their way through here. Being both weapons destroyed the catacombs, they'd likely destroy all of Act 2 as well. But I wanted a better boss contest since Indariel was a bit crowded. So into the tombs I go. Bone Snap was very slow to land strikes, and even more so of Duriel slowing me, which I thought might have been an issue. However, quite the opposite was true. That health simply drops. All you need is half a dozen or so crushing blows to land to knock off over half his health. And since the 40% is essentially a coin flip, it comes through pretty often. Granted, he almost got me a few times, but I got him first. Steel Driver had a much more difficult time here. Granted, I'm swinging faster, but he's got so much damn health that the steady damage simply can't compare to slicing off large chunks and being cold basically nuked its attack speed. I got him, but it wasn't near as easy as Bone Snap. Going into Act 3, I absolutely skipped the jungle and started off in Karas with Bone Snap. It's still slow as all living hell, which did cause some problems when standing against larger mobs as it allowed them to strike me much more often, in specific to Threshers. But even so, the damage was so great that even unique mobs were blasted apart with just a few swings. Bone Snap's slow attack speed was more so affecting my patience rather than its general effectiveness. It's smashing through everything. Which continued doing just that to the High Council. Granted I had to split them off not to get murked, but Bone Snap ripped the Council apart. When switching over to Steel Driver, the attack speed had a huge impact on the rate of getting through Karas. Its damage is quite on par with the area, and I'm able to knock through mobs with Threshers with a bit more ease. Not to mention, interrupting them more often stops them from attacking, increasing my survivability. 
Granted, the unique Threshers took more swings, but in the end, they were all absolutely smashed by the mighty DPS of the Great Maul. The High Council took a bit more effort simply because I'm not knocking off quarters of remaining health. But the attack speed combined with its damage still finished them off without much issue. The Durance was riddled with these little Steigen bastards, so I skipped level 1 and 2 and jumped down to 3. Bone Snap initially had a tough time with the Blood Lords and Council members at level 3 since Zeal hits are much slower, but singling them out was no problem. With Steel Driver, I was able to bounce around more easily, but I noticed engagements were a bit prolonged. And versus Mephisto, wow, there was a difference. It took Bone Snap several swings to start connecting, but when the massive steel skull of death landed, Mephisto's health simply disappeared. Per usual though, it took a little bit extra to finish him off, since Crushing Blow was nullified at that point. For Steel Driver, this was an absolute chore. I had to stand toe to toe for consistent damage output, which isn't always ideal. Being cold rendered the entire point of the fast attack speed basically useless. There were noticeable slivers that fell off, but by far and large, I was nickel and diming my way through here. Act 4, where all your Nancy prancing about in previous acts comes to an abrupt end. Using the steps as a benchmark, Bone Snap's damage output is still absolutely smashing through enemies there. Most regular mobs pose little threat. I can't carry you. I am Larger mobs have to continue being split off to not get overwhelmed, as its slow speed left me quite vulnerable to heavy hitters. But champions and uniques are still absolutely dropping. Oddly enough, Steel Driver received the same treatment out of the gate versus this ridiculous mob, which was rough to get through without crushing blow. Regular mobs were just fine though, as it continued swinging away, lobbing chunks of health off. Jumping to the River of Flame, Bone Snap's slow attack speed was now driving me insane. I mean, it's functioning just fine. I'm still able to smash packs of regular mobs, and uniques are blasted through. But the mass mobs of these little bastard maggots and grotesque young was maddeningly slow going. Steel Driver was quite the opposite. Granted maggots were lacking, but the little grotesques were simply smashed to bits. The mobs of higher health were really starting to take some effort. Its damage output can still function for smaller mobs but larger ones are sweeping me backwards quite often. The Chaos Sanctuary was an insane asylum for both weapons for the exact reason presented in the river. Bone Snap can still mostly blow apart mobs with Crushing Blow, but it's simply swinging way too slowly to make any larger engagement not a suicide mission. The amount of damage taken during just one zeal combo almost killed me more times than I could count and god forbid you're slowed in the midst of it. I couldn't even handle Infector. Steel Driver could bounce in and out much quicker, allowing for more confident engagements. Its DPS is still pretty solid, but larger mobs are overwhelming me simply due to their damage output. Splitting them off was the only way. Taking these versus Diablo, however, was smashingly hilarious. Well, for one of these at least. With Bone Snap, for some reason, I keep expecting to have a horrible time versus bosses. Being slowed with its slow attack speed would certainly let Diablo destroy me, right? No, not at all. This took less than a minute. 53 seconds to be exact. Crushing Blow is simply insane. Steel Driver took a bit longer. About two and a half minutes longer, actually. And a lot more health potions. Its attack speed proved it can still dish out damage at a consistent pace, but it's at a much slower pace versus Diablo. 
And this was granted I could stand and fight. Needing to jump in and out basically stalled damage. But Steel Driver eventually got through him. Realizing in the Sanctuary the problem was stemming from my lack of survivability, not so much the damage output, I wanted to give the malls a better chance going into Act 5 by respecting the Paladin from his makeshift-ass build into something a bit more FU friendly. So we'll go with Fanaticism, which jumps my attack speed by 33%, and damage by a lot. And just to be cheeky, I started out with Magnus Skin for an extra 20% attack speed. So Bone Snap is now doing 693 to 1060, and Steel Driver is busting 830 to 1325. And oh my god, this is what the doctor ordered. I feel like Popeye having that gulp of spinach. Adding attack speed makes a ginormous difference. I really didn't want to chase down all the skeletons, so I opted for a solid fisting instead. But the Death Brawlers were dispatched with simply a pair of swings from Bone Snap. Crushing Blow absolutely nukes their initial health, then the increased attack speed comes in to finish them off right after. And adding attack speed to Steel Driver was ridiculous. My swing rate was so fast I was dropping enemies before they could react. And for whatever reason, it's still hilarious as all hell watching the Paladin swing this giant mall so fast. Okay, okay, I'll ditch the extra 20% for the sake of more realistic results. But in continuing on, it made little difference as Bone Snap was still blasting enemies apart in the passages and trails. Three to four swings apiece and everyone is dead. It was only dangerous when unique archer mobs appeared, but I'm taking one or two out with each jump in. The hordes of cold magi skeletons tried with all their might to slow me, but it was no use. I'm the juggernaut, bitch! Steel Driver kept on keeping on with its attack speed outputting enough DPS to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe in snow drifter mobs. Survivability was a bit tougher, but only because of all this goddamn lightning. But otherwise, everything was smashed apart. Steel Driver even took out Frozenstein's mob. Smash, 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 smash. The plateau was basically all archers, so I ran past, but the story remained the same through Ancient's Way and the Keep. Absolutely smashed through both with Steel Driver and Bone Snap. Bone Snap utterly melts everything with higher health and lower health alike. I even got maybe a little ballsy with this Might Enchanted Unique mob. But it makes little difference as I'm able to flagrantly run around smashing everything I see. And Steel Driver's attack speed is simply a wrecking ball. The keep was handled with little issue and I found myself at the throne before I knew it with both weapons. Fallen and the mummies were easy enough for both. And as were all the other minions for Bone Snap. Adding attack speed to Crushing Blow is crazy magnificent. Massive chunks of health fell off in quite satisfying fashion. Lister? Gone. Steel Driver was surprisingly very much the same. The realistic respec added much needed damage to its attack swings, and is destroying everything. And the higher rate I'm able to bounce in and out of engagements is still noticeable. Blister and his ilk took a few more swings, but those swings are so fast it allowed me to stand verse 5 at once. And now, for Bale. Bale cheated and threw his clone at Steel Driver, so I had to run around and dispatch that thing first. But Steel Driver's attack speed and damage made noticeable progress. Granted the misses were abundant, but by far and large I was able to stand and fight enough to knock Bale's health down at a pretty steady rate. And as for Bone Snap... Oh. Oh, he's... he's already... he's already dead. <laughs> Holy shit. I didn't even... I didn't even need to try. I only had to back off to heal some health and mana, like, twice. 
Oh my god. Bone Snap completely wrecked Bale. Well, let's try hell. For the benchmark, I'll just hit the den, and oh boy how the tables have turned. It wasn't impossible, but it was certainly more challenging. Fallens are felled rather easily, but zombies and beasts are putting up a fight. Okay, okay, but Gamer Duke, you're in hell mode. Of course it's going to be absurdly rough. Certainly at this point you're using your character to their full potential with whatever weapon you have. You're quite correct. So in using the Paladin to his full potential, let's see if we can get to Kane. And Bone Snap is now doing 774 to 1154. And Steel Driver is driving home 937 to 1476. I fisted and bolted most mobs of demons and undead, but both Bone Snap and Steel Driver are still putting in that work. Granted, I'm taking damage, but Bone Snap's crushing blow continues to annihilate enemy health. I'm able to jump in and out fairly well, continuously smashing chunks of health away. The real danger so far was Treehead, and that was only because he happened to have an amp damage curse, making full zeal commitments risky. If I didn't have to play Ring Around the Rosie to recover every three strikes, I would have taken him down much quicker. Tristram was all demons, so I fisted most everyone but left old Grizzy around to see how long it took. And here at this point, Bone Snap was very much dependent on Crushing Blow versus Griswold. And getting through a Steel Driver, its attack speed was still proving its average DPS is a worthy contender. It was slightly more difficult, simply due to not having Crushing Blow, making engagements a bit more prolonged and by default making them more deadly but swinging away as fast as I was, chipped health away at an even paced rate. Even Treehead wasn't much of a match without him cursing me. The only danger was simply my lack of life. Griswold did take much longer though, but his health is nuts. But you know what? I'll be damned if these things didn't keep chugging along. Bone Snap made it right through the marsh. Steel Driver took the Highland and the Barracks with little issue. In the jail though, both weapons began to slow a bit. Bone Snap is still hacking off initial health but it's having a difficult time finishing higher health mobs when Crushing Blow becomes nullified. And Steel Driver is taking more time hacking bits of health away in general. I'm also feeling that lack of 30 fire res without Bone Snap on more than one occasion. But even still, both weapons are pushing through into the catacombs. If I had to split enemies off before, I really had to split them off here. Bone Snap's Crushing Blow still hacks enemies' health away when I'm able to stand for zeal attacks. The spiders were much tougher, but in smaller packs they were dispatched with little issue. Steel Driver's attack speed is still interrupting enemies enough to allow the DPS to settle in, even into the higher healthers. Granted, half of the engagements, though, were more like so. But both weapons found their way to Andariel. My lack in Poison Res made this interesting, but in lockstep with the previous bosses, Bone Snap was able to take Indariel down miles quicker than Steel Driver could. The Crushing Blow came into effect multiple times. 
Granted, the end was a bit of a grind. But Steel Driver was rough. I had to dip out to town twice to quell my poison and acquire more potions. But Steel Driver eventually pulled through. By the skin of its teeth. My work here is finished. And oh my ancients, these things are still going. Through the dry hills. Past the far oasis. And to the lost city we go. And here, in the lost city, we have finally hit a wall. First off, my paladin simply cannot hang anymore. He's not leveled nor geared enough to stand toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Granted, the paladin's holy skills could keep me going for a bit, but both weapons are finally struggling for relative damage output. Enemy health and damage is getting too great. The sand maggots simply have too much health, and if not for crushing blow, I likely wouldn't have gotten through any of them. And if moving forward to something like the arcane, the goat herds and blood lords would have become an impenetrable fortress. But my god, I am simply amazed at how far these things have gotten. I did not expect to be standing in front of Hell and Dariel with two normal mode unique melee weapons. Well done, Mauls. Well done. Alright, now the dirty work. Which are we keeping? Which are we yeeting? This is gonna be tough. Let's break them down. Bone snaps up first. The damage output is simply awesome, and even for mine, there's an extra 43% left on the table. Plus 100% to undead is a solid number, but only in certain areas. The 40% crushing blow is devastating as all hell and absolutely makes this weapon. The 30% cold and fire resist are fairly decent numbers. I felt that extra res more than once. One glaring caveat though is that slow attack speed which can seriously hinder its viability versus mass heavy hitters. Steel Driver is straight up DPS. That 40% attack speed is fantastic and is monumental in how this thing functions. The 150 to 250% added damage is a massive boost. Heal stamina never really came into play, at least if it did, I didn't notice it. The requirements minus 50% actually might be a sleeper for this thing, as dropping the required strength to only 50 could introduce its dominating DPS to your character at a much earlier time frame. And adding 50% damage to undead is on the lower end and again is only viable in certain areas. And in comparing, oh man, I'm just I'm just not sure. I have to choose? I don't I don't know if I can. Steel driver's speed and damage is crazy, but crushing blow is undeniable, but that slow attack speed is rough. But you can add attack speed. I, I can't, I can't, I can't. I can't, I can't, I can't do it. I just, I can't do it. Okay, I've chosen. Because your melee swinger will most likely have some sort of boost to attack speed via skills or equipment. And because its full base would be 120 to 172, meeting steel drivers a bit more. And the fact that crushing blow is simply undeniable. I have to go with Bone Snap for the winner. Steel Driver was great. I cannot say it wasn't. It met most all of my expectations and realistically got as far as Bone Snap did. Should you ever stumble across Steel Driver, your Nightmare Swinger is probably in for a pretty good time. But because it's lacking something, anything other than basic damage per second, there wasn't any area where it outperformed Bone Snap by a noticeable margin. and Bone Snap mercilessly destroyed bosses. And therefore, my friend Steel Driver, thou must be yeeted. Yeet. But feel free to let me know your thoughts in the comments. Was this your anticipated result? Which was your favorite? And did you expect these weapons to make it as far as they did? If you enjoyed this Keeper Yeet, consider hitting that like button. And remember to subscribe for more fun Diablo, ARPG, and other gameplay analytics. 
Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Adios.